and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UA TV. Last Thursday, an eruption at a missile test site on Russia's Arctic coast released radiation and killed at least seven people, including five nuclear workers. It appears that the event increased radiation levels by four to 16 times the normal amount. A mysterious explosion has raised fears of a Chernobyl-like situation, and it may have occurred because Moscow was trying out what could become one of the world's most dangerous weapons. To talk more about the accident, we welcome to our studio Yuri Kirilenko. He's the expert at the State Scientific and Technical Center for Nuclear and Radiation Safety. Hello and thank you for joining. Hello, Antonina. So, as I have already mentioned, the explosion happened last Thursday and uh, as usual, the Russian government is hiding all the details, is disclosing all the information. What caused the explosion? <laughs> it's so difficult question, because uh, till today we have no information about the chronology, uh, chronology of release mm -hmm. and the and information about source term, about the protection uh, protection production action uh, the, uh, that uh, that was applied uh, in uh, 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 several wings and uh, Arkhangel's city. And uh, we have no information um, about the source, uh, uh, sources of release, about the radionic light, uh, uh, what, was, what was involved in this release mm -hmm. into the atmosphere. Well, we do know that uh, the radiation level exceeded. Uh, mm -hmm. So obviously it was some radioactive thing and um, there's been information out that there, the Russia was trying out a new missile system. And that has been backed up by the United States of America because Donald Trump uh, tweeted Monday night, and I quote here, the United States is learning much from the failed missile explosion in Russia. Could you comment? Uh, um, I want to say first of all that uh, that that Ukrainian uh, and Russian Federation it's uh, it is a uh, it is a members of the International Agency uh, on Atomic Energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this uh, agency uh, we have a special system um, on the information exchanging so uh, in this in this system uh, for now uh, we have no no information about this 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 incident um, so it's is this it's, an issue for being concerned the fact that there is no information in the system about the explosion I hope yeah Okay, mm -hmm. should Ukraine and your other European countries be afraid of the circumstances of the Chernobyl-like mm -hmm. pattern? Uh, according to um, our results of modeling of trajectory of the radioactive cloud, mm -hmm. uh, this, this event uh, does not pose a threat uh, for the Ukrainian public. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we use the special d decision system uh, RODOS and the American system has split to evaluate p potentially impact uh, on the Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, for today, uh, we have we have uh, we have no information about source time. Uh, in uh, in the next uh, few uh, days or, or first week, uh, we uh, we. Are waiting uh, for their uh, first um, measurements uh, from the Ukrainian nuclear power plant, Saporizhia mm -hmm. nuclear power plant, and South Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. It might be first m uh, measurements of the of the air. Uh, so after that, uh, uh, we can say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, the uh, residents of the two uh, little Russian towns that were close to the explosion mm -hmm. site, which are the Arkhangelsk and Severodvinsk, uh, are went into a so-called pharmacy craze buying iodine. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's uh, the one way uh, to protect the public, but its work. Uh, it works uh, in case of emergency 
um, of accident on the on the nuclear power plant. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we have no iodine in this release, this um, this um, iodine uh, prophylaxis or blocking has uh, has more negative uh, influence or impact on the public of the Russian people. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not a positive uh, activity from side of those people. Okay, how high are the chances that this explosion uh, is uh, the result of a failed attempt of testing a new missile in Russia that was announced by Vladimir Putin in March 2018? And uh, what he said that they were building a cruise missile that can travel any distance because it uses nuclear um, propulsion instead of conventional fuel and can evade any defenses since it flies low and moves around. Uh, uh, our center um, are waiting for more detail about this um, this uh, story, uh, but uh, for now uh, we, uh, we 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 have no answer on uh, this question because uh, we 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 are not a specialist in this area area of rocket uh, mm -hmm. and army and uh, etc. So I'm specialist on the atmosphere spreading mm -hmm. of the radar nuclide. So I can explain. Um, in this local uh, issues. Okay, <clears throat> when would be the, uh, the closest, the nearest time that we get the evaluation of the atmosphere um, and the air pollution in Ukraine so we can figure out how dangerous mm -hmm. the uh, effect of this explosion could be for Ukraine? Um, According to our modeling, uh, the cloud um, is here right, uh, right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, this cloud uh, uh, was was crossed the Ukrainian border uh, uh, today. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, from from side of Black Sea, Crimea, uh, and uh, the first nuclear power plant that can uh, that that. that that is able uh, to, to, uh, to detect uh, the runner nucleus in the air, it might be uh, a Zaporizhia nuclear, uh, nuclear power plant. Um, it is important to say that uh, these this measurements um, will be, uh, I think, the, the next week. Mm -hmm. So after that, we can, we can we, we can investigate and s say uh, what's going on uh, in, in Russia and what uh, what nuclide mix was released into the atmosphere. Until then, what piece of advice could you give to ordinary Ukrainians on how to stay safe in this situation? Uh, um, even uh, in p p uh, pessimistic scenario, uh, uh, Ukrainian people uh, don't have uh, to do something with it mm -hmm. because it, it's very very low concentration but uh, uh, on the nuclear power plant we have pre precise um, equipment uh, and uh, uh, the nuclear power plant uh, have uh, is able uh, to, to, uh, to measure it mm -hmm. uh, yes uh, but uh, it, it, it this this release uh, have no uh, have no really really impact on the Ukrainian people uh, for now and for future. Okay, well, now that we all know that we are safe, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. We're waiting for the results. That was Yuri Kirilenko. He is the expert at the State Scientific and Technical Center for Nuclear and Radiation Safety. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned with UATV for more. Yeah.